Hello, I uh, come to you today with the coronavirus quarantine and coping tag. Uh, this is brought to us all by uh, David over at The Poptimist, who was uh, inspired by the uh, Canadian uh, media criticism sh podcast, uh, Canada Land, to uh, create this tag just sort of as a check-in tag for people. Uh, I probably need the help. I, I tried to do a, I filmed a, a check-in tag and I... I successfully pressed play and pre successfully pressed stop, but then I just I shelved that. I didn't feel comfortable about. Um, I talked a little bit about my job in there, and I, I wasn't comfortable about that. And so, let's try this. Tr let's try this. Let's try this again using uh, David's David's questions uh, and see how I do. I I guess there's I'm um, yeah I'm shaky there. Um, so yes, um, question number one. Where are you and what do your immediate surroundings look like? As I said, I'm a Canadian. I am uh, over on uh, the West Coast here uh, in Victoria on Vancouver Island. Um, you know, uh, BC has been lucky in a lot of ways. Uh, like a lot of places are, uh, we didn't have that. We, our spring break is later. So by the time spring break came along, uh, we were into kind of... Um, what people were calling, you know, shelter in place or social distancing. We were, we were well into that, uh, having semi sane, competent leadership, uh, very, very least I can say about, uh, Justin Trudeau is that he is, he is actually semi competent and, uh, that he, um, actually has an idea that maybe he should listen to people with scientific training when, um, and medical professionals when there is an issue like that and not to shoot his mouth off. See, I'm, I'm already going on. Blah! See, this is, I am, I am definitely on edge. Um, so yeah, so, uh, BC has been lucky that in that way, um, as you know, for myself, I'm still going to work because I work at a group home and, that's so I'm my, in, in a lot of ways, it's very odd that uh, a lot of my day, my day, my days look the same. I go to work. I come home from work on the weekends. I go to the grocery store, except now when I'm going to the grocery store and when I'm at work, I'm wearing a mask. Uh, um, you know, there's all the social, we do, we're doing all the social distancing. Uh, you know, um, it's funny as things have gone along, you, I can see people getting complacent already and kind of like already, Oh, when are we going to get back? It's like, we need to continue listening to the experts, but yes, I am in sunny, warm, beautiful BC. Uh, I couldn't take this outside because, uh, there's my, my next door neighbor is using his saw. There's a people in their backyards. It's too damn noisy out there. Everyone's everyone. Well, it's a Sunday. So of course everyone's at home, but even during the week, everyone's everyone is out and about so yeah i guess that that's my answer to question number one uh number number two what is the most unusual or abnormal thing you've done because of this um i guess it's wearing a mask out uh in in the community uh, you know that's basically the only that you know and i'm going around the house um on a fairly daily basis and just wiping things down with a bleach solution which is interesting uh you know because i am coming i'm i'm coming from here back from work uh when i get home when i get home at night i immediately get into jump into the shower uh, and have a shower and uh put all my clothes away uh trying to like stop that and you know when i'm at work i uh take off all the clothes there and there's clothes there that i put on and i'm you know you're you i mean i'm a support care worker so i'm usually always washing my hands or washing my hands but i'm doing it even more so so um, I, I, I feel for people who had, uh, uh, you know, ag the agoraphobia or obsessive compulsive stuff, because this is, this is a world that's turning everybody up. Maybe they, maybe they feel better because everyone else is turning into an obsessive compulsive, uh, agro agoraphobics as well. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, 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 uh, I, you know, that's the, just the general tenor of the, t tenor of the world. Um, what is your coping mechanism? Um, uh, I guess probably one of my coping mechanisms at the moment is I'm doing Camp NaNoWriMo. Uh, quick, 
quick hidden uh, Camp Nano and Rymo check in here uh, at the very end of the month, where I've been writing a very silly, silly uh, story for the whole month and uh, silly fantasy story, and uh, that's been that's been a good kind of a, a a project that I've just been able to go to and just like you know for for the couple of hours each day that I do that, I just sort of lose myself in that. Um, and that, that's been a, that's been a good, good coping, coping mechanism for me, I guess. Um, yeah. Reading is not so much. I mean, I, I find, you know, there's, there, there had been a lot of news. I kind of eased off on the news, but it's still, it's like, I, I mean, watching a lot of videos and things like that rather than reading. Um, which is, I guess, a lot of other people's things of just that concentration level there or what you're up to. Can you name some things that have given you pleasure? Um, yeah, there's a lot of things that have given me pleasure um, in this time. Uh, <laughs> actually, funny enough, I say reading, uh, not reading much, but I'm reading uh, Edgar Rice Burroughs' The Gods of Mars, the second in the uh, Barsoom series. Very silly, silly science fiction fantasy uh, novels. Uh, which have been uh, just exactly the ticket. Uh, that and uh, listening to um, um, Mr. Scarborough's family with uh, with uh, Anthony Trollope, Victorian uh, novelist, and just uh, his kind of warm human thing. It's even when there's like an evil sociopath in your in his book, he doesn't focus on that. It's like, oh, that'll be the cool thing. It's like, no, let's let's go off. Well, that fellow, he'll just go off and do his own stuff, and we'll just kind of push him out of the novel. <laughs> It's kind of hilarious that way. He's Trollope is just like the anti sensationalist, and 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 his books are so much better for them. Uh, it's it's a yeah. I, I think you have to be a genius like uh, Anthony Trollope maybe to pull that off. The rest of us have to have to have the thriller elements, but not Anthony Trollope. Oh no, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we don't want to stress out the reader. Let's 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 go off and tell the, the these other much more pleasant things. Um, I've got the you know uh the taking my dogs for walks walk to the to the park because we're not as locked where you know everyone's doing their distances i've got a little local park where there's like two other people maybe in a park at the, in the park at the time so that's that's nice um just hang, hanging out with my wife on the weekends um you know Zsa Zsa, it's like just getting to be with her making pancakes with her this morning that was really that was a thing that brought me pleasure so there's lots of pleasure lots of pleasure uh, in my life still, this is, you know, I think you, you can't help but uh, you find that and that, that helps, that helps a lot. That helps, helps you feel, keeps you, helps keep you healthy, uh, mentally while you're trying to keep yourself physically healthy. Um, number five, what is something you feel will never be the same after this? Um, well, I mean, you know, I'm not going to predict the future about what, publishing or the restaurants or uh, I will leave that to Steve Donahue, uh, or, uh, or others. Um, I would say I won't be the same. <laughs> so I, I will never be the same after this. Um, uh, just in the, in the sense of i grew up in a world where there was an, there, there I am the, I apparently, I, th this is, you know, the last somebody who, who, who has spent a childhood never concerned that there was going to be an illness that's going to sweep through uh, sweep through his com the community and 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 kill people. Um, you know, I I feel like that's probably the thing that's changed is that I don't have that certainty, that unconscious, un like just basically there's the water I was swimming in. So I I will never be the same. I will never be the same. Earth shattering news. Let let it be known. J J will never be the same. Uh, so yes. Uh, with the, that, those that earth shattering news that 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 prediction that's the one prediction I can be certain of uh, certain of that I will never be the same after this. Um, will I adapt to it and will it just become a part of my life and I'll, I won't even think about it after a couple of years? Just be like, oh yeah, it's one of those things. And, you know, maybe maybe uh, maybe I'll just continue to be a wreck the whole time. I, I don't think so. I think you have a certain level of stress, 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 and your body just goes no, just kind of. We're going to even, we're going to even things out and you're going to go back. Um, that said, I am pretty stressed. It took me, this is my second try at actually doing this, doing a check-in about this stuff. So I am still really stressed. Uh, so yeah, there is that, there is that. I, um, uh, I, I can still feel it. Um, so yeah, I guess I will stop this video, watch it and then decide if it, if it, if it, 
if I, I can't stand this one either and delete it too. Um, if not, uh, just I'd recommend you check out other people's doing the tag. Uh, Steve Donahue, who I slandered, uh, but his is always intelligent, always interesting. Uh, Kelly at Books I'm Not Reading with a, a foul-mouthed fellow that she brought on her channel. Uh, she, Kelly, I, I'm surprised at you that you 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 you, you continually have this fellow on your on your uh, on your uh, show. It's like it's your show. Your on your channel. Um, you know, it's like oh, Kelly, Kelly. Tisk tisk tisk, you know. Got to keep things. Got to keep things PG, or you know, is it G? I don't know. PG G. Where where are you at? Uh, obviously for me, it's 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 juvenile. <laughs> very juvenile over here. All right. Uh, with all that silly silly blathering, which maybe I'll just cut out as well. I will leave you with this ten minute long check in video of me babbling. More videos later.